For our final word problem, we are going to start off with step one to read the problem. Brad is 183.3 centimeters tall, while Karen is 172.5 centimeters tall. What is the difference in their height? Next, we have to organize ourselves by reading through the question and underlying any key terms. The key terms in this example is the word difference. Difference implies that we are going to use subtraction, and we need to subtract the height of Brad by the height of Karen. Next, we need to strategize and solve. So again, difference tells us that we're using subtraction, so we're going to take Brad's height of 183.3 centimeters and subtract that by Karen's height, which is 172.5 centimeters. And we want to make sure we carry through our units. So now to solve this subtraction, we're going to set it up how we would with any other problem. Our first number is going to go on top, and then our second number on the bottom. And to make sure all of our digits are lined up, we have to check if our decimal is lined up, which it is, so therefore all of our other digits are lined up. Now starting with the far right, we have 3 minus 5, but 3 is less than 5, so that means we have to borrow from the next column over. So we borrow from this 3, so it reduces down to 2, and then this 3 now changes to 13, because we add 10 onto 3. And then we have 13 minus 5, which is 8. We carry our decimal all the way down, and then we move on to our next column, which is 2 minus 2, to give us 0. Moving on to our next column, we have 8 minus 7, which gives us 1. And then in our final column, we have 1 minus 1, which gives us 0. We don't have to write the 0, just know that it's there. Now 10.8 is our final answer, so the difference in their height is 10.8 centimeters. Now we want to confirm our answer. Did we actually answer the question? We need to find their difference in their height, so we subtracted Brad's height from Karen's height to give us 10.8 centimeters. So therefore, we answered the question.